by the way, the streets are saying that you're 35. Oh! <laughs> Sometimes when it's over and like they break up or something, it's like, yes. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, right. oh my God, that. stop doing this. <laughs> this is about three years ago we're talking. Guys, there's a picture here. Oh, my life, we're not my... doing this. Oh, my life, we're not doing this. <laughs> What is good, my good people? It's your girl, Madam Joyce in the bizzle. Back again, tell a friend. It's been another week, long time, no speak. Or should I say two weeks? I've been off, oops. Um, I want to apologize because we had no episode um, last week because I was on holiday. So please give me a break. And you know what's so funny? I remember a couple of weeks ago, somebody said in the comments, Joyce has been so consistent. I'm scared that she's going to take another break. And you know what? I don't understand why people were praying for my downfall, but your prayers were answered because I did take a break. But it was a good break. I was in Nigeria with the bad boys and girls. And honestly, can I just say, I love Nigeria. I love the fact that we went from dirty December to doing energized Easter. Energy up, bad energy, stay far away Easter. That's how I'm gonna start calling it. It was a time, it was a good time. But without further ado, I would love to start this episode with my guest. Now, because I took a week off, I was thinking, ah, do you know what? I owe the people a favor. Like, I need to bring somebody that I know the people them are gonna really love. They're gonna, they're gonna respect it. And obviously, it is a national, is it National International Siblings Day? Wonderful. International Siblings Day. And because it's International Siblings Day, it's only right that I bring one of my siblings. You know him. He's been here a couple of times. Mr. Wide Waste. Back Bro, again. We haven't even, you know what's, <laughs> I want to lock off this whole building. Tell Mr. Me. Wide Waste. Come in last place. Came here late. What other one is it? What's punching that? your face. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> rates. Okay. Like, it's uh, alcohol. Yeah! No, no. no. <laughs> Wait, are you guys are clapping? You're clapping for that intro. What are you we saying? Have, we haven't even started the episode properly. Already get. Can we see how long we can get without getting on to each other, please? Because the, okay. the episode has just started. Okay, the episode just started. Okay. Yo, I'm glad to be back, people. Um, it's your favorite uncle, Uncle Eli. Um, I'm happy, man. How's the. How are you Should I hope we just said shut the <laughs> up? <laughs> How you doing, bro? What's good? I'm all right, man. I'm happy. I'm good to be back in the new studio. First time seeing it. It's nice in person still. Like, it's good. The couches are like real and that. So, so they, they were fake? No, 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 no. But I'm saying like, they actually got like texture to them. So they don't look like they have texture. I don't understand these backhanded compliments. It's not backhanded Very compliment. Very backhanded. I'm it's like a nice set. It's a nice environment. I'm even seeing silk curtains. It's good, good vibe. I'm liking it. I'm meeting everybody for the first time. It's good stuff. Thank you, Elijah. It's a serious podcast, man. Yeah, it is very serious. Yeah, Thank you. It's good, man. Speaking of serious, you, you've you become a serious plus size model, innit? I'm a serious model, yeah. Plus good size? Yeah, 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 yeah. How's that going? You've been doing the billboards. Can I just say, like, on a big man thing, yeah, I'm actually so proud of you. I'm actually really proud of you. Like, the last time we started, you just started doing plus size modeling. Why do you keep <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Okay. When we first started, you were just you just started doing the modeling, and now since then, you've been on the billboards. You've been working for Boohoo. You've been doing ASOS. I saw you on the catwalk. Who did you catwalk for? Uh, ASOS. You were doing catwalk for ASOS. You had your thick thunder thighs out. I was like, I'm really, really proud of you. Okay. Like, seriously. Right. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Now nah, you're doing your thing. Yeah, modeling is cool. I'm doing a lot of work with ASOS Boohoo Man. Um, I've had a campaign for Boohoo Man. ASOS, I'm with them consistently. Boohoo, I'm with consistently. So I'm doing it right now. It was one year in like ending of February that I've been modeling and what I've done in that year. It's been lit still. It's been, been yeah, nah, yeah. honestly, I'm so proud of you. Like, honestly, I've known you for all my life. So I, done. That's mad. That's mad. It's crazy. Sorry, Lance. Sorry, man. I've known you for all my life, and it's like I I wouldn't have seen you being a model. Do you know what I'm saying? But just the fact that people find you attractive is good to know. 
Okay, okay. Make sure that you keep laughing over there. <laughs> I'll break that Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know it's good to know but i want to start with hot topics let's get it cracking so the most promiscuous countries in the world have been revealed and turkey is topping the list so researchers at the world population review have created a list of countries where citizens have the most sexual partners across their lifetime did you see this no i, I was gonna ask what promiscuous meant but i remembered it now promiscuous is yeah. that song with tb T- C- Bland. Timberland. Tim, yeah, Timberland, Tim, yeah. Tim, 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 promiscuous girl. Wherever you are, girl, I'm all alone. Promiscuous girl, you're, you're feeling me. I got what you want. The lyrics are there. Yeah, we, we got the beat. The lyrics yeah. were not quite there, but we got the beat. I'm going to turn it to turn it to you just the way you are. Is that song? No, no, different song. That's a different, that's a complete different song. Right artist, different song. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, Timberland. I like, I like you just, just the way you are. That's not promiscuous. Promiscuous girl. No, you're, you're mixing two songs. Me. You're mixing two songs together. I could... Read the article, bro. You guys don't even know music. Okay, right. Okay, so you've not seen the list. No, I haven't. Okay, if you were to gauge, I'm gonna tell you what the list is. But if you were to gauge your top four promiscuous countries. And just to clarify, promiscuous is those with like multiple sexual partners or yeah. like cheaters. I, I wouldn't say what capacity, if it's fornication, adultery. Oh, so it means you're outside. Outside. Oh, yeah. So where would you, where would you put your, what, what would your top four be? And I'll tell you what the top four My is. My top four, I'd put Spain okay. in the top four. Why Spain? Um, what did you do there? No, not me. I'm saying like, because obviously Spanish people, they worldwide known as very attractive people. So I imagine that they would be getting up to no good. I'd probably put like another, um, like a, Bra- not Brazil, when I say Brazil, like one of them South American countries up there mm-hmm. as well. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Brazil, or I reckon there's South American countries up there. Something deep in my bones is telling me Nigeria is on there as well. Okay. I'm gonna say Nigeria and then I'm gonna say, France or England? France or England? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd say France. So what did you have first? I said, oh, what, no, I thought I said no particular order. Okay, give me the four. So Nigeria, Niger- Spain, Brazil, and... I'm actually going to say England instead of France. Okay. Yeah. I feel like French people are quite promiscuous. I would have said so, but also English people are quite as well, but like, yeah, I would have said English people still. Okay, let me give you the top four. Guys, I need to interrupt this episode very quickly. For all my US bad boys and girls, I have something very, very special for you guys coming up. And if you want first dibs, make sure you sign up to our mailing list, which is in the description box below. I promise you guys, it's soon and it's very exciting. Make sure you sign up for the tea and the mother biscuits. Enjoy the episode. We are going back. We are going back. Thank you. Turkey, Australia, Iceland. Mm? No, sorry. Turkey, Australia, New Zealand, Iceland. That's the four. That's the four. Flip, and I said Brazil. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know nothing about any of those countries. I don't know. I don't know enough. Turkey, I'm surprised. Australia. You see, this is this is why I'm confused because these countries they have quite mad weather. Australia is too hot to be, f- Iceland is too cold to be. F- so, how are you I'm, top four? You know what it is. There's probably about twenty people in those in like Iceland anyway. So I reckon once you go around like three, everybody's just gonna have to bounce around each other because the population's quite condensed. I feel it. This is the pro- Iceland. I don't really know much about Iceland except that it's cold. I know nobody trying to have cold sex. And mommy shop there. Sorry, sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> that was... <laughs> You're very stupid. You're very, very stupid. I said New Zealand, I wasn't expecting. You You mentioned um, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigeria actually came to here. It's not here, but it actually came like 50th or something like Five that. 5 0. Yeah, there's another page. There's another. There's they another clicked page that here. list. Nigeria is top 10. England came 21st. With the average sexual partners of 
in comparison to Turkey that got 14.5. Oh, so each individual has at least 14? Yeah, so in Turkey- Damn! Damn it! The average- the average sexual partner is 14.5 in Turkey. In England, it's 9.8. Damn! I know, it's crazy. The average in England is 9.8? 9.8. Where are they 8. finding them? <laughs> it's true, I'm, t- <laughs> damn. I'm telling you, damn. I'm telling That's you. Mad. I know it's shocking for you because, you know, your your one, the one that you have is, it was, yeah. What? The, the one, I'm saying it's shocking to you that people can have sex more okay, than once yeah, because gotcha. the one, you managed to find one that wanted to sleep with you, which is good. I'm proud of that. I'm not even going to defend myself here because I'll get in soup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to defend myself here. <laughs> but yeah, they said the findings come that Gen Z is said to be having less sex than previous generations, which could be due to more adults living at home and more people avoiding alcohol in their lifestyle. Do you feel like Gen Z is having less sex? <laughs> damn this is um i can't speak for myself but for what i've heard he doesn't want to snitch on himself he doesn't want to snitch on himself in front of his big sister listen i know what you're i know what you get up to you don't have any class me yes you me yes you i don't even i don't even know what sex is that's just ew that's disgusting <laughs> Bring that yes you do because sometimes i'll be calling you and, and you're you're why yours at the hotel oh god no, like, I'm at, if I'm at a hotel, like, because I've got shoots the day after and stuff, well, I'll come back. Yeah, because sometimes, you stay at, sometimes you'll stay at my house. So when you're not staying at my house, why do you opt to go because to the hotel? Because hotels are just more convenient for me. Or oh, I'm with the man them, and I don't want to go back to your bits because it's like, although it's your bits is a bit far from, like, it's not in central. So I'll just get a hotel, stay over the night, go shoot the next day. Why are you trying to incriminate me? Goodness. Because I know what you get up to. I don't get up to anything. Yes, that's you just... do. And that's the, that's, oh. that's none of my business, but I don't need to lie. I'm not stupid. Yeah, but you can't. Oh, excuse me. You haven't even got any evidence. Where's your evidence in the court of law? You're just going off of assumptions. Women. <laughs> <laughs> but um, based on what you're saying, Gen Z and having sexual intercourse, like I said, I can speak for other people. Um, I think, yeah, everybody, you know what? I'm not an advocate for it, but like everybody just kind of having their fun sometimes, especially like nowadays, like, Everybody is a bit lonely because of the cost of living, and some some people just need a person to cuddle. You know, I'm so, sorry if I should know. Let me not land. I was gonna say something, but they're gonna arrest me. Arrest. I feel like he. The focus should be on getting yourself together. I can understand. I agree. I agree. Get yourself together. You don't need to be having sex. Yeah, you can get focus your... on your purpose. Yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Focus on your purpose for me. But I'm actually surprised that uh, India, India's last, I believe. Wait, mm-hmm. India, but it, it's not here. With a population of 1 billion. How, their population is huge. I would have imagined that. Yeah, they have three sexual partners across their lifetime. That's, is that what they told you? I mean, that's what the, that's what the study says. All these studies is just jargons. If for Nigeria to be 50th on the list, that's garbage. South Africa should even be top 10. It is actually funny enough. In, in, South, I know Africa, what I'm talking about. South Africa's number five. Exactly. But oh. I, I don't know. I've heard about this. I heard the girls in ah. South Africa. Ah. Let me drink this. Why you sh- I heard the girls in South Africa are very nutty. Hey. What do you <laughs> what do you know? Hi boo. Imagine you'll jump on the back. I've never done nothing with any South Africans, so I can't I can't say nothing. What do you hear? Because I know the boys are talking. About South Africans? Yeah. I don't know nothing. How you book? What do you know, Elijah? Obviously not me, not me. Cause I don't partake in these activities, but from what I'm hearing, South African women are very like, which is no problem, but they're, they're like, what's the word? Promiscuous. Outside. Yeah, they're outside, which is not a bad thing. But, I, and, and what I've noticed about South African women is that they're more openly outside as well, which is fantastic. Like for the people that are interested in that sort of thing, not me. How you book? <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. My friend was telling me how, like, even South African women will like uh, they they they're very forefront. They will yes. approach you. Ah. They will. Oh gosh, all our attack. Like, just they will like. For example, through my experiences, I can give this one. Like Nigerian women, 
if they like you, they will never, ever, ever, ever even insinuate that they will like God. you. Good. Yeah. So unless you approach them, they can you they they can think that you're the love of their life. They won't even entertain it. From as with Ghanaian women's is similar as well, but South African women's they will be more likely to approach you, but not even on like a moving to you thing. They will initiate conversation first, um, but in a way that will be moving to you. Do you know what I'm saying? They might initiate, it or they'll be a bit more upfront with it. They like that. They don't like to waste time. Through my experiences, y'all better than me, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because Nigerian women impossible. Impossible. Nigerian women, I'm not, I'm not moving to nobody. Yeah, impossible. I'm not moving, I'm not moving to a goddamn thing. Do you not think that's a bit like, like, why is your reasoning? Obviously, if you weren't you, would you still be the same? Yes. And why is that? I'm shy. Okay. I feel like, do you know what it is, yeah? <clears throat> I've gone through so much childhood trauma, yeah? That when it's a guy that I actually like, I proper freeze up. And this is something I've realized about myself, like... If I flirt, I usually flirt with men I don't fancy. I usually flirt with men that, you know, they're cute, but they're not the Don Diddley on Don Don. Like, they don't intimidate me. Mm. I feel like when it's a guy that's so sexy, I'm intimidated, I just start moving shy. I just get so shy. Then when it comes to even looking at them, I'll just look away. Like, I'm not giving you, like, come and talk to me eyes. I'm not, I'll probably give you a dirty look. Like I just get super, super shy, but I actually am working on it because I was, I was watching something on TikTok and this guy was saying that because of like, guys are not so forward mm. in approaching you like they used to be because of like different things. Like, because people now they're a lot more, they try to be more respectful to women and they don't want to get caught, be, they don't want to get in like sexual assault or, mm. Or um, what do they what do they call that thing? There's another thing. Harassment. They don't want to be cast as someone as harassment, so they tend not to be as forward as they used to be to avoid maybe possibly harassing the girl and stuff. Mm. But then it's now a new responsibility for women to have to kind of do a bit more. So maybe not completely doing the South African girly thing, mm. but you know, give a bit of a naughty eye. Not or even give South Africa, like from. From my experience, I feel like the best way to go about it is just make it obvious. Not you don't necessarily have to approach the guy, but just make it obvious that you're inviting him for a conversation. Do but you know how does one make it obvious? I feel like just body language. So, sometimes it's the eye contact you know. Sometimes it's like she'll give you a girl. I'm saying the eye. There's a certain eye that girls will do you. And like be, what? I can't demonstrate it. It's like a. <laughs> I don't know even after the demonstrating, but there are signs that will that will allow you to understand that somebody's being open for a conversation, or like if she just happens to be alone from her friends, like just happens she's with her friends all now, she's seen you, and then she just kind of backed away from them, type thing a little bit. Is that what the girlies are doing? It's it's signs that they're open for a conversation, and it's like I don't personally move to women, but it's good. Like, I'm shy as well. I'll be honest. But it's it's more like if those are the signs, it'll make it easier to do so. You know okay, saying? I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Anyway, so we're all, we're all working on it. But yeah, it, but unfortunately, unfortunately, moving on to another hot topic this week: Londoners are the loneliest in the UK. So a new study has found Londoners are the loneliest in the UK, according to the study by Belonging Forum. Thirty-five percent of Londoners reported feeling lonely often or some of the time compared to 28% of people living in other parts of the UK. The study also revealed that young women and renters were disproportionately shut the f up. <laughs> disproportionately affected. Dish. <laughs> you go ahead, man. Disproportionately affected. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> By an <laughs> epidemic of loneliness. <laughs> Do you feel like we are lonely people? Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. And I feel like when people are lonely, they just end up with stupid people because of their loneliness. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I feel like when I went to Nigeria, one thing I love about them. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. It's not my fault you're not well traveled. I'm well traveled. Just I haven't been to Nigeria. Okay, so not that well traveled then. Oh, because Nigeria is the epitome of the world, isn't it? <laughs> When guys go to Nigeria twice they don't know how to act <laughs> I heard the Yoruba you were giving them it was atrocious mom was even getting on to you yesterday <laughs> what did she say she said that you said something um, 
and it was supposed to be a GB sound, but you said batty, but not batty. You know what I Oh, mom, yeah, she was laughing at me in yeah, the, yeah, in yeah. the, You've been the there shop. twice and you've been there for a long time. Your Yoruba still horror. Well, sorry, land. Is your Yoruba any better? My Yoruba larger? is definitely better than yours. Okay, go on. Huh? <laughs> no, no, you I'm waiting for the article. You said it's better than that, so go on. I don't like Yoruba under pressure. It's just like, it doesn't flow properly. Okay, so you can only do it when you're not under pressure. Yeah. Mixologist, what did you put in this drink? <laughs> My head is banging. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I feel like when I went to Nigeria this Easter, like one thing I love about <coughs> that is the community. Like people like to go to each other's houses. People like to hang out. Like uh, you, you will very rarely spend alone time in Lagos in particular because people like to just hang out with each other and people will pull up to your house. Like people be pulling up to people's houses without inviting. Do you think you could come to someone's house in London and say, Impossible. can you? And be like, I'm downstairs. Okay, it's for what? Yeah. And because this place, we're working, 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 working. By the time you get home, you just want to kick back and do nothing. Yeah. You just want to relax. Yeah. It's hard. But you actually quite, ha- you have quite a good t- circle of friends, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I'm blessed with friends, I think. Um, but I do understand, though, like, when I was, um, in your bit looking after Charlie, I was like, bruv, after a while I'm like, this is sad. Like, not not like Thank that, you. but it can just get a bit alone. Like sometimes you want to go out and you know, like your brethren's are about, but just being in an apartment all the time on your ones, you know, like, it could be a bit, I can see how it can be a bit detrimental. It yeah. is, lo- I can't lie, living alone is lonely yeah man i thought when i was when i moved out it was like yeah i'm gonna have my friends over all the time i'm gonna do house parties most of the time i'm just i'm just like either sleeping or watching tv or on my phone like i don't like being in the house for too Mm. long because if i'm there for too long a lot of the times it's by myself Mm. and it proper does my head and and i I noticed with with a lot of women anyway like you guys don't have any sort of escapism when you're at home because a lot of the Mandem, for example, like even though I was on my ones, I can go on um, console, play FIFA. You know, I'm still with people and still have a wind down time. Like, do you, girls have a sort of way to do that, but not physically and be in each other's spaces? On the FaceTime. Is that it? I mean, we don't have games that we're playing that speaker to each other on the line shouting. Yeah. What other things? I don't, is there anything that we do where it's social, but we're not? together you guys need to bring back flipping nintendogs or was it tamagotchi oh my god bring back something like that man to deal with your time yeah but even tamagotchi you had to be you had to be in with the person for it to work for you to have uh, babies with the tamagotchi and stuff you can have tamagotchi babies you can you will connect yeah you your tamagotchis will fall in love then you will now connect the tamagotchis and then you can go to each other's houses mad Obviously, you're too young for that, innit? So you wouldn't know. No, no, I know about Tamagotchis, but it was through you man's devices. I didn't have one for myself. I was a man. I had a DS. So I didn't really do the Tamagotchis like that. All right, then. Thank you. I know they had a black and orange one Tamagotchi. By the way, the streets are saying that you're 35. Oh! (laughs) Oh, my... I'm being (laughs) crazy. The streets are saying that you're 35. You know what? I wholeheartedly blame myself. Because I remember from the first episode, I was kind of saying that I was older than I was. Um, and if I'm if I'm being completely honest, like by the second episode, I was only saying that because I liked all the women. Let's be let's call let's pay the spade. That was the reason. But like obviously now like I've gotten older and that, and it's like I'm getting cooked, bro. I'm a young buck. Okay, guys, I'm not old. Okay. You're not old. Guys think I'm your older sibling. You are. Land. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. No, but you are. Oh when Elijah in the second episode, <sighs> you're push. I warned you, because lot Elijah used to lie, but Elijah likes to lie on his age. Yeah, I didn't lie. I Eli- didn't or he truth. would admit, I didn't lie. I just didn't tell the truth. Yeah, as in like I just didn't like I'd avoid. I didn't. You see, you remember, you know there was an episode where I was like, oh, you know when you know when a, when a, when you're talking to a guy and a guy's when you ask a guy how old he is, and he said how how old do I look? Just know that he's young. Because <laughs> that's what that's what the young girls be doing. They won't tell you them like, oh, how old do you think I am? How old do I look? If if a guy can't tell you his age straight away, 
He's either too young or he's too old. And nine times out of ten, he's too young. Elijah would lie. I wouldn't about lie. his age. Elijah lies about his age. I wouldn't lie. He would lie. I wouldn't so lie. you never lied about your age? Not directly, no. <laughs> when it was Elijah's birthday, everybody was confused. Oh my God! Oh my God. I was in Nigeria. Fam. I was in Nigeria. It was oh Elijah's birthday. My, I remember the- And they so, bought the cake and the cake had it. Are you ready to, to confess your age? How old are you, Elijah? Okay, guys. I'm 21, okay? Elijah's only 21. I'm a young buck. And it was his 21st birthday and they bought our cake and everybody was confused. Because <laughs> obviously I've got brethren from different age groups and that, from like my age, year below, and then um, to like 25, 26. And uh, my family done a surprise birthday for me, right? And then obviously they brought out the cake and I know it was mum that designed that cake. There's no way it wasn't <laughs> mum that wasn't the craftsman for that cake. So obviously on the cake, it did had a Elijah big, Paul? It had my government name, all did, four, wait, did all four Paul? five names. Yeah. Nah, it Defa had Bob, all five Defa names. Defa Bob, and then Defa it Bob. had 21 in blue icing. I was gobsmacked by the cake here, but then I said, oh, <laughs> like, these know my age now. And then <laughs> I heard someone was, so, I heard someone say, wait, what, you like 21? I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good run, guys. <laughs> It's been a good run. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, your subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Usually, I just generally don't tell my age because I feel like it makes fits in with the whole aesthetic uncle type vibe. But it's like, now it got to get to a stage where it's like, guys think I'm like 25, 26. I got from a girl the other day, yeah. Obviously, um, my brethren that do content creation, I'm one of the younger ones out of them. But a girl was like to me, yeah, like obviously, I seen you were like Zay and Benzo and that, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Sometimes I think, are you not too like old to be chilling with them, man? <laughs> I said, nah, this has to be enough. <laughs> This has to be enough. No, I'm 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 young still. Elijah's only 21 though. Guys, he's like, all the people all the big mummies that he's been lying to, good for you. No, 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 no. When girls tell you that like age is a problem and stuff, they're lying. I promise you they're lying. They're lying, bro. What, 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 what are you even saying, my G? I've come to realize that girls nowadays they actually don't care about age. And if they're telling you that they do, they, they're lying. They care about money. I promise you. If I was 20. And I was on six, like a good six figures a month. I promise you they won't care. I Emmanuel, care. is this correct? It's facts. I promise you they won't care. It's facts. <laughs> if the age doesn't matter, it's just the money, man. <laughs> like, cause you could, Wait, you could. Emmanuel, what's the oldest that you've dated? Or that or you, the, or not dated. like, serious. Not dated, nah, nah, but nah, or nah. like maybe done a thing with. I can't, I don't, uh, I can't say it. <laughs> I can't you know, say you gotta it. say it. But it, it's, it's old. It's... Okay, so Emmanuel is, are you, do you want, oh, can you say yeah, your age? I'm, I'm 24. 24. Are we talking about someone in their 30s? Yeah. Mid 30s? Or I'm, not 30s? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anymore. I'm not saying anymore. Damn. Elijah. Ma. What's the oldest that you've chatted to? Oh! I'm not going to say this. Okay. I'm not going to say, I don't know exactly the age, but I know she was at least minimum 28. What the hell? That's minimum. And how was you, 21? I don't think I was, no, I wasn't 21 these times. How old were you? I was 20. Like, this was early. Ha! Uh, the girls I did but, last. She, 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 yeah, she knew my age. This was like, I'm not gonna say when it was, but this huh? was, I was not near 20, 21 at this time. Justin is shaking his head. Bro, but like, it's common. <laughs> it's me, guys. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't, girls don't care. And that's like, this, like, ladies. But you know what it is, ladies. <laughs> so yeah, squeeze this small boys. Ha! Wow! This is a discovery. Are you to your let them squeeze you? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this was like, Emmanuel. This, I could guess. I could guess the age that 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 this woman was. And I can guess it bang on. Okay, if you guess it bang on, I'll say yes. But there's no more <laughs> yes or no. Yeah. 
37. Nah, nah. <laughs> you have to think about that one. <laughs> 36. I'm not saying no more. You had your chance. <laughs> you were close, but you had your chance, isn't it? Emmanuel. My God. Big mummies. It's an experience, isn't it? What the heck? But you, you know what it is? One is like, with the older women, they just kind of want to get a sense of their youth. So they were like... That's it. I'll be. Uh, You're I'll moving be... like 28 is like. No, 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 like no, 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 no. I, I said, I don't know her exact age, but she was around that age. But it's like. And two, for my age, I'm very mature. So it's. it's it doesn't... That's Elijah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Elijah that will beatbox in his room by himself. Yeah, but I'm not going to... Listen, when you come against a certain opposition, you're not going to apply the same tactics for each team. You got what I'm saying? If I'm if I'm coming against Chelsea, I know that a, a low block is going to defeat them. Do you got what I'm saying? If I'm coming against Arsenal, I know that a counter-attacking sort of football is good. I'm not going to have the same tactics for each opposition. you got to play the match. I'm not going to be talking about beatboxing when I'm with a grown woman. So what do you talk about? Yeah, like... <laughs> Oh, she's a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, mixologist. <laughs> this drink is making my head bang. I haven't even eaten today. Next subject. <laughs> Very stupid. I don't think there's anything bad in that, though. No, but what, what, because Elijah, what could you possibly be speaking about to... Some people do, I, I've got very good conversation. Like you know what? what like, do you, I Elijah, the, you're not mature. I prom, to you, I'm not mature. I'm very mature. No, you, you, you could have a, ba- you could have a conversation, but you're not a mature individual. I am a mature person, bro. I think I'm mature. You just don't spend, you just don't spend a lot of time with me to know that I'm very mature. I feel like I spend enough time with you to know that you're not mature. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm, I can't argue that. <laughs> and I just, I'll be shouting on the on the on the PlayStation on the Xbox and beatboxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yourself. But, you know what? <laughs> throughout the throughout the years I've learned that you just got a code switch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be very good at code switching. I'm actually more dis- disappointed at the women. Can yeah. I just say women? The mad them are saying that the grown women are squeezing small boys bum bum. Young boys, Bob Bob. Emmanuel is great. That's a seven year old woman. That's a something year old woman. I am getting cooked after this episode. Elijah, big woman. Your sister's age. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'm so, I mean, in it's me. not even that. No, no, in you. In the women. Guys. Wait, but I'm a, you're making this, I'm a, I'm a serious guy. Like, I'm a, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on. Elijah, you're a small boy in this thing, you know. You're a small boy in this thing. So this is what we're doing, ladies. <laughs> ladies, this is what we're going. Don't worry. Sorry, we'll man. We'll come back to this. This is chat. a this is a time and a half ago, man. I'm a I'm a changed man. I'm for the better. We'll know? go we'll come back to this chat. Next hot topic, Jonathan Ross reveals he and his wife shower once a week. Aye! Last week, Jonathan Ross admitted to showering once a week or less. No, but what so or less. less? So just none, none at all. So just no times a week. Damn it. And I like Jonathan Ross as well, you know. He admitted sometimes going at least a week without showering, mentioning he would only wash on two consecutive days if he had done something that caused him to work up a sweat. He even admitted to not showering for two weeks whilst on holiday in Florida because it was sunny and he was jumping in and out of the pool. Jonathan. And only deciding to wash once he discovered he discovered his ampis was smelling. <laughs> and Aye. soap and and he was smelling so bad, the soap wasn't getting rid of the smell, and he ended up having to shave his armpits. Didn't even have to do a soon. Flip. And according to the data from YouGov, three percent of Brits only shower once a week. Three percent of, oh, so that's a good thing, no? As a three percent only shower once, once a week, so a lot of them will shower more. Yeah, three percent. I mean, but the fact that there's even a yeah, percentage that's mad. Once a week is mad. You better be in like ice for the rest of those six days because once a week is mad. And I met, I met him and he didn't even, I don't think he smelled. Yeah, we actually did meet yeah, him together, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. He That's didn't smell. We met him at the Stormzy. Um, yeah, I like Jonathan Stormzy. Ross. He's a, he's a great guy, but. He's a great guy, but he's got a bath. That's mad. JR. 
But sometimes you don't bath. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. I smell great all the time. Don't do that. Bro. Sometimes you don't bath. You want to talk? You want to have this conversation now? <laughs> you want to do this because if, if out of the both of us he doesn't bath, there's certain there's certain conversations that and we can I'm have. Totally. I'll look off this show, Jason. Let's not do this. I'm sitting on multiple bad boy pieces of information. About I don't bath. If you want to do this, you can run. Remember, you, you, we live together at some point in our lives. If you want to do this, you can do this. <laughs> Goodness. Well, Rich, we're in that statement right this second. Sorry, we're in that statement. <laughs> say sorry now. Say sorry now, bro. I'll get mad. I'll get mad right now. I'll say something. I'll say something. I shouldn't say. <laughs> Do you want to go there? Jason, we can, if we go there, there's going to be cut parts of the episode we're going to have to cut out for your benefit. So let's just keep it PG for now, okay? <laughs> let's just keep it PG for now. You can't draw me out on my own show, man. Yeah. You fine. can't draw me out on my own show, man. You see, people who are, circ- who are not circumcised, yeah. Wait, what? How did we get there? <laughs> Because we were talking about no sharing for a week. Nah, wait, wait, wait. Nah, because... <laughs> you, you ain't gonna snitch on my ass, man. You are, you, you, I'm you circumcised. Said, what? No, no, wait. I didn't say that you're not circumcised. <laughs> Let me land, man. How do we, not, how do we get here? Guys, Let me not, producer. Wait. 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 <laughs> wait. I told you these drinks are too strong. Wait, 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 wait. Fab. Fab. Oh, we left. <laughs> you better land that plane. You see people who are not circumcised, yeah. Like when they don't shower, they have this like cheese. Yeah, smegma. S- is that what they call it? Yeah, smegma. What's smegma? It's, it's like, like a it's like schmeat cheese. What's schmeat cheese? Yeah, cheese on your schmeat. <laughs> I've well, never when heard anyone have... call it schmeat. No, yeah. Like on your on your schmeat, on your meat, yeah. You have not not me. The guys <laughs> <laughs> the guys are full skin. Like if they don't shower in that, they get like like cheese there sometimes. I heard this and they call it smegma. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Because there was a t- I, I, the reason why I know about this is because there was some white girl in our school, yeah. White girl? Yeah. And she was with this, she dated this guy and she was like, oh, one time that she she gave him and his was thinking and it had like like white bits. Yeah, cheese. Round. Bro, cheese. That's, that's smegma and it's like if you haven't got the circumcision, you can get Are that. A, a lot of your friends circumcised. How am though? I supposed to know? What? The no, heck? but do you know what? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I feel like a lot of guys see each other's willies. No. Like, on a friendship and, thing. And, and, and if we do see it, it's not like I'm, oh, you got foreskin. <laughs> no one's doing that, bro. No, but it might be like, like for example, um, because I play rugby, you sometimes, oh, this is sounding insane. We might, not we, the man <laughs> Then I'm like shower together and that, or like change your rooms. You know what I'm saying? And, and everyone's might... willies just. Yeah, you might catch a glimpse, but you're not like seeing it. You Emmanuel, are you look seeing your friends' willies? Emmanuel, back it, please, brother. <laughs> by accident. Yeah, 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 by accident. Yeah, yeah. Like you just see. Yeah. Some man them just walk butt naked in the change yes. room. Just someone are on that, and it's just a normal like. Yeah, bro. Or like some or you like in school urinals, um, someone are on some madness in there. Like I think I went to school and I don't know. No, I think I went to school. I went to school and one guy was, he was, I'm sure he was, he was a, he was unique. And <laughs> when he was using the, the toilet, like he would pull his trousers to his ankles <laughs> to use the urinal. So situations like that, like you might get a glimpse. So what's, so, so what's the, so you're not supposed to pull down to your ankles? No, you're just supposed to unzip or unbutton the top. You're not, to use a urinal, you don't put your whole bum cheeks out and then. <laughs> Like his whole bum cheeks were out, bro. <laughs> and the trousers to his ankles. But what if he just didn't want to get wee wee on his jeans? You don't get wee wee on your jeans if you if you know how to wee properly. I think maybe that's just how he was taught and then he just ran with it. <laughs> he just, he just, he just, <laughs> this was like, this was like primary school though. Like year four. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, sometimes I wish that like, not, not necessarily that I had a penis, but when I wee is targeted somewhere. Because it's like, man, them can just wee in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Why don't girls have that like cup for that? Exactly. We need an extra tool. The fact that you can go anywhere and just pull out and then just pee. Yeah. Girls have to. That's a great. Why do girls wee so aggressively? <laughs> what do you mean? As in like, 
you girls we like they're in a hurry all the time because we are i, I don't know what it is like, first of you, all why are you where are you to what do you be mean? seeing women we aggressively sisters yeah, we go to the toy so no, quickly. But like, <laughs> obviously, like, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> obviously where, my, where my bedroom is, there's a toilet next to me and then there's a toilet upstairs. Yeah. So I get both actions when I'm in the in my room. So you and sometimes hear. it's like, when girls we, I don't know whether it's the fact like your your cooch is pointed directly into the, the, the water, but it's just bare violent. No, because when you think about it, like when you we, you're standing. Yeah. So the the circumference from where your willy is to the toilet is far. Yeah. But because we're seated, we are closer to the basin. To the bowl. Okay. So when you wee, it just it's like a boom. shorter distance. Yeah. So it's like, okay. but you, it has time to go through the air. And build up and wet air resistance. Air resistance. Okay. And then they will now go into the toilet. Okay. But I wish like sometimes, I, rem- I remember one time where I was at a party and when the party finished, I was busted to go to the toilet. Busted to go to the toilet. And the girl was like, oh, you can we be- we behind that thing. And then I'm like, brother, I don't like weeing outside. She's like, okay, no, you need- but I was busted. So you have to really like, Where's, you have, you have to so you hide. Went? Yeah, I went, you have to hide. You can't just, you can't just do a quick thing. You have to actually hide. Man, them can wee and it will be fine. You actually have to hide. You have to t- you have to find a bush somewhere and you can be walking far. Everything is roadside, roadside, building, building, building. Yeah, There's no bush. You go behind. On top of that now, you have to then stretch. Then on top of that, you don't want to miss you. Now you, you hope that you don't catch your shoe. That's another <laughs> thing. You're now stretching your leg. You're now bending your leg so that the wee-wee doesn't catch your shoe. Like, things is it's difficult, man. Sorry, man. I was sorry to hear that. <laughs> you got to say struggles. It's difficult. It's difficult. Not not all the time is toilet available. Toilet is not always available. I don't know how we got to this conversation. It's your fault. You're talking about Philippines full skin. I don't know. I just didn't want you to start to start disgracing me. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to change. My I just God. had to just. I just had to just <laughs> change, change the subject. subject. <laughs> quick thing. Quick thing. Quick thing. Topics of the week, baby. All righty, we are going to move on. We have Young Miami versus JT on X Twitter. So this week we saw the City Girls turn on each other via X. Young Miami publicly called out JT on in directing her on her solo song, such as No Bars and Sideways in a series of tweets. Guys we are seeing the city girls fighting. It's the same like JT that all the niggas wanna fuck. All the niggas wanna fuck JT, they do. I do. <laughs> it's sad, right? Oh. The girls are fighting, Elijah. Oh man, what's it over? We don't know. So apparently, let me tell you, let me give you the tea, girl. Let me give you the tea, girl. JT allegedly was indirecting Young Miami on her song, No Boas. Mwah. Right? Oh, I'm gonna puke. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? That's it. Mwah. No Boas. Yeah. So JT was fighting Glorilla to start on the internet. And they were going backwards and forwards about how the- Glorilla felt like she, no, JT felt like Glorilla was being fake towards her and yada, yada, yada. So the girls were fighting. Then JT and Young Miami started fighting. Now, if you know, JT and my Young Miami are part of the group, the City Girls. I don't know what happened between them two, but there's obviously been tension and they've been separating their brands a little bit more. Young Miami's been doing her thing with Diddy. JT has been- what? He did nothing with Diddy. Yeah. Dang. Sorry to yes, that. she's actually part of the case as well. Damn. Yeah. And then JT has been making her own music, trying to be a fashion girly, whatever the case may be, just having separate brands. Now, it all kicked off on the internet and the girls were fighting. And I think there was a phone call. Yeah, there was a phone call between them two. But it just seems like the City girls are over by the looks of it. Oh, man. This sounds so sarcastic from you. 
No, that's. What's your favorite City Girl song? The one where they're shaking their bum. You don't that one that one song in particular. That one where they're shaking their bum. I like that song. I just don't know what it's called. That's it. That's that's sad. They started a whole movement. Like City Girl Summer, everybody's outside. That's what I'm saying. Summertime is oh. coming. What? They, Cause they had, like this is the problem. Like people need to stop breaking up at the wrong time. They need to bring them. Um, they should have broken up in during winter after, because summertime. Who are we going? What, what, what are we going to get? OG Nikki. <laughs> You I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yeah, we'll just have to listen to our tracks, like our old music, to to recompense to compensate for that. So you guys need to then or um to... or sexy red. Sexy red could have still summer. Yeah, yeah. I like sexy red. Yeah. She's hot still. I like her hair. It's red. And it's sexy. I feel like you're being so sarcastic. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, you know, when I found this out, because I, I saw it on my friend's story that they're splitting up, I, I was tearing up in my sleep because of that JT and what's that one called? Young Miami. Young Miami. Flip. It's like it's like One Direction splitting up. It's like it's it's like Coldplay. It's like when you hear like Michael Jackson. It's just that sort of level. That sort of level of artists. They just they have a whole generation in the in the in the palm of their hands. And it's like, so now I don't know what to do with myself. What am I supposed to spend my summer? Listening to who? Like actual artists, like like Whiskey? Can you just change the subjects, please? Before I get more emotional. Flipping JT and, and Young Miami. This is why I don't like to come in off of hot topics. But this is this is not like you're you're supposed to be using hot topic stuff that's supposed to be making you happy. You think the fact that JT and Young Miami is gonna make me happy that they're splitting up? I care so much about them. Oh, these guys are great. Right, let's Time move. Let's time. let's move on. Win or bin. Right, we're moving on to win or bin. We have a topic of conversation, and I'm going to tell you whether it's a win or a bin and why. Win or bin. Win or bin. Win or bin, win or bin. Uh, uh. I feel like we need. I need to do a song for win or bin or something like. Do you know what? So people have been having like their own theme tunes and stuff. Maybe like cocktails takeaways should have their own like cocktails and takeaways. Da, 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 the cocktails. Just the thing, okay, thank you. <laughs> right, win or bin. Bin, yeah, bin, bin. I hate that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Can you let me land? I needed to pick one. Win or bin. Explaining why you don't want to date someone or ghosting them. So are you winning Ooh. to uh, winning explaining or ghosting? Which one are you winning? Which one are you binning? Explaining or ghosting. It depends on how, like, I'll say I'm a, I'm a win for both. So let's just say, Emmanuel, you're on the mic. By the way, Emmanuel, I'm, I'm, I'm putting you on the mic because the people are saying that they miss you. Of course, of course. Let's hey, but go. he doesn't sound like that, boy. His voice is, is higher than that, bro. <laughs> 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 you cough. These guys are here, of course, of course. You better cough, man. <laughs> <clears throat> it's alright, man. It's calm, it's calm. Elijah's a hater. A lie? Just because your voice is... Yeah, because is... sometimes I'll be hearing the episode, I'm like, is this Emmanuel? Is this Davida? Who are you talking? <laughs> Sorry, bro. Hey, 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 Sorry, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Nah, it's giving jealous because your voice is, you got a bad B voice. No, my voice is like, my voice is actually, it sounds nice on a microphone. No, but you sound like a bad Yo, B. Welcome to the first episode of Cocktails and Takeaway. Not quite. Okay, good chat. You sound like you've got a flu. Okay. You, you're talking. Okay. Do you know what? Everybody, know, I'm very aware that my voice sounds like my nose is headaches. Thank you. That's not what I was going to say. It just sounds like I have a congested sinus. nasal. <laughs> I have congested sinus. That's okay. okay. But at least I don't sound like a, a bad bee like you. I don't sound like a bad bee. Yes, you do. No, I sound... I'm, in fact, <coughs> you're a manual. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're not been. Um, so we've got either explaining why you don't want to date someone or ghosting them. What are we winning, man damn? What are we winning, man damned? What, so is it one or the other for both of them? Which one would you prefer doing? I'll say ghosting. 
I'd say explaining, but it depends on the situation we have. Emmanuel, why are you a ghost star? Explaining is long, man. I've tried explaining. They don't get it. They're not trying to get it. They're not trying to accept it. It's just long. Jeez. Next time I just go, <laughs> start. Yeah, I hear it. Emmanuel has actually suffered in this love life of his. I hear it. But you're a ghost star. No, I'm a, I'm an explainer, but if like if we've been speaking for a minute and then I just What's a minute? As in like a good few months and then and then it's not working, and obviously I, I, out of respect I'll explain it to you. But if we if it's a short term thing, then then like you're just What okay, so let's okay, let's scenario, scenario man then. Yeah, I feel like that will help. You've been dating a babe for a month. Ghosting. One wait. Sorry. Let me land consistently. For a month, kicking back like a dinner, you know, it's just cute. For one reason or another, you're like, this is not going where I want it to go. Are you telling her, hello, this is not working out because of ABC, or are you going to stay? I'm going to tell her, but then me telling, just letting you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know, but then after that, I'm. But gonna... how would you let? How would you let her know? Probably through like a like a text or something. Yeah, but how? Like, by the way, this is not banking. Yeah, I'm yeah, out. not not. Yeah, I was just like, I feel like it's best if you go our, our separate ways and that. Like Emmanuel. What? Ghosting. But oh no, I'm no, not no, ghosting no. straight away. It's like slow. Yeah, the that's the way it is. There's a good in between, and the good in between is just like you let them know by your replies just start to be delayed. Yo, you got what I'm saying? You just start dropping out a little bit. You got what I'm saying? Start putting in the bare foot. And then naturally, it's a mutual decision. You get me? That's so the mastermind. So you, 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 yes. start, you start moving mad is what the man them start that's doing. That's not moving mad though. Not moving mad, yeah. I, I but think that's reasonable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I would rather you go cold turkey on me than to bread, you're bread cum, breadcrumbing. It's breadcrumbing. Not bread, I think that's what you're saying, but it's not what you want. Yeah. Like, what like, wait, yeah. wait, man, you what? It's not what you want. you No, I would rather someone go cold turkey no, ghosting. Yes, because I would. If, if, for example, you had someone that you're speaking to, you're interested, and gradually, gradually, you're just getting more and more dead. Within yourself, you're going to eventually want to grow apart anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? So the, the decision becomes a bit more mutual. You can handle it better. If he drops you on, your, on a high, you're going to definitely feel the type of way about it. Yeah, but be it's better in the long run because you see what happens when you start breadcrumbing a girl. And I'm sure you guys have noticed this. The girl will start trying more. Yeah, the girl will start trying yeah, more. So, so yeah. you're trying to disappear. You're trying to disappear slowly. And then the girl is now yeah, thinking, I, I, she never usually pings off my phone like this. All of a sudden, I'm trying to get rid of her. She's pinging me off. Because yeah. unfortunately, when when a guy love bombs... Stop. You know, this all this junk and terminology that people be coming up with nowadays... It's baloney, love bombs, cold turkey, breadcrumbs. What's all these junks? Everyone just makes new terms up nowadays and run, runs with it. What's love bombing? You know what it is. When you when you 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 like someone, you're showing them affection. You're calling them every day. You're messaging them. You're doing robots. You're doing robots. You're sending uh, uh, emojis. That's if I like you. If I, this, if I like yeah. you, I want to show you. And then it. when you when you did decide that you don't like them anymore, and then you stop doing all that stuff, if it's with women's brains, it starts with their brains so they're freaking ah, ah. when i first met this guy he was on my thing he was chasing me he was doing all of this now now all of a sudden if, if i have a favorite restaurant and i go there and i eat their best i'm giving them a lot of my money and then the one time i go there and they give me flipping food poisoning and i stop going there again and the restaurant owner feels a type of way isn't my fault that they give me food poisoning no but your analogy is different because you that's you not going there anymore is different to you going there and maybe you are usually having the bolognese, but you're like, okay, I don't want the bolognese because it gave me food poisoning, but I'll settle for the garlic bread. Nah, I want meat. If I say I want bolognese and I'm loving the bolognese and the reason I'm going there for bolognese is for the bolognese and then I go there, the bolognese give me food poisoning. I'm not going to eat bolognese anymore. I'm not going to go to that establishment. Yeah, but you're still going to the establishment, no, no. but then you're not ordering the bolognese. Nah, you won't nah, go as often as you went. And, you're and, not going as often. Why am I, why am I going to... This is this is this is nonsense. Okay, it's nonsense. You're just having. You're just fighting um, for yourself for no reason. It doesn't make any sense. This love bombing thing has never made sense to me because I'm the sort of person like if I really like somebody, I want to treat them. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to get them stuff, and that's not even me trying to love bomb you or trying to tank you anyway. It's just showing my appreciation. I ain't got to expect anything in return. I don't want you to do anything for me. It's just me showing you. Do you know what I'm saying? That I appreciate you, but. 
I feel like it's less about the love bombing, but it's a fact more of a fact of somebody treating them in a way that they haven't experienced before. Do you get what I'm saying? A lot of people that for my no, a lot of people I feel like they might have been treated like dog in the past. They find somebody that appreciates them, that treats them a good time, and then treats them like allows them to have a good time. English bumble clock mixologist that allows them to have a good time, and then because they haven't experienced it before, when it's gone, it and they look back, it will be like it's love bombing. But I don't think it is a lot of the time. You I know like, what? You know what's crazy? Elijah treats his girls better than his family oh members. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, when did we get onto this subject? You treat men better than your family members sometimes. How about that? No. <laughs> like I, saw, I saw on a private story, just I said, there was a girl and she bought um her, her, her other half someone like Gucci bag, LV something, Dior sneakers. She said, oh, when am I going to find somebody to treat like this? <laughs> when am I going to find yeah. someone to treat like this? You have a whole brother. I'm here. One of you put me to your sliders. But, but you're gonna get somebody that you, you're in a relationship for five months, do your sliders and Gucci bag. Skidaddle. Yeah, but you're moving like I, I do get you stuff. Though. Of course you do. I'm not denying that. So what, what, I don't get what the point is here. No, but I'm saying I feel like because wait, what have me... you Elijah on the big man thing? <sighs> what have you ever got me? Oh my, you wanna have this conversation now? Go on. Okay, guys, before Madam Joyce was Madam Joyce and she was Joyce Ann. Joyce Ann was in a very confusing position. I will f- punch you. <laughs> you want me to land? I will land this plane. I will land it. <laughs> I will f- f- punch you. Is it because you borrowed me 50 pounds? <laughs> is that what it is? It's not borrowed if you didn't have any intention of paying it back. Okay? <laughs> if that's what you want to do, we is can it because do you borrowed it. me 50 pounds? No. Go and say it then. Go and say yeah, it. Yeah, so. Go and uh, say it then. Joyce Ann was in a confusing position in her life and she was finding herself naturally and obviously um 16 17 year old brother i was you know a regular worker in tesco you know i was earning away from myself whilst doing a levels um during lockdown as well um a levels weren't really going on and uh but because i was a key worker i was working a lot so i had i had peas um where's this then, going let me land the plane let me land the plane because i have to give them a backstory obviously just would ask me for money and, that, and i'd give it to her and that you get me um and Obviously, these were times where like she needed the money, so obviously I'd give it to her. And yeah, you can't tell me that I haven't given you anything before. I've given you many things before. So because of fifty pound, it wasn't fifty it, fifty pound times how many? We can, we can, can, we can I just say? Can you I just say? This, I hate doing things like this. You <laughs> brought this conversation nah, up. but you never got me nothing. I needed <laughs> like I needed the money at the time. I was broke. The f- can I just say yeah, also, and that's, fair enough. that's actually a very embarrassing time in my life because why was I asking my younger brother for money? No, it's not embarrassing. I, like, yeah, I, I would never, brought, I wouldn't have brought this up, but certain no, guys. No, but what have you bought me though? I bought, the first episode of Quattos and Takeaway. You bought me f- Kinder Bueno biscuits. No, I bought you Kinder and I bought you a bottle of Bacardi. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I do, when I have things, when I have the means to, I will give. Do you get what I'm saying? Right now, invoices are beating my ass. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm like I'm not a billionaire yet. And second of all, you're my oldest sister. I should you shouldn't have to expect anything but from me. But if it's, it's nah, there was one conversation. <laughs> <laughs> my sister Alice, yeah. My oldest sister Alice, oh, yeah. We were all in the family group, we were all in the family phone call. And you know what, yeah, you know, we're all all of us are old. We're over tw- No, 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 you guys, you guys. No, we're older. So not just 21. So obviously, like even though we're brothers and sisters and some of us have different age hierarchies, we, everybody's quite friendly with each other, right? I'm the youngest. And I'm just the youngest, but we're still quite mature. So we're having a very mature conversation, a very fun and, you know, you know, girls chat plus Elijah. And by the way, a lot, I say this a lot that I have sisters, but what I mean I have sisters, it means I have Elijah's included in the sisters. <laughs> Cause I never say <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I just grew up with girls. And like, I thought you have a brother. It's like I do, he's part of the sisters. No, no, don't don't make that joke. Don't make that joke. <laughs> make that joke. I'll blow up. And the it was, we, were, we were chatting. And um Elijah thought he could come in and be like, Oh yeah, you know, obviously like, you know, I like to take girls out on dates. That's and, not how the conversation Okay, goes. go on then. Say it then. You the the conversation was more or less. Um, I said, "Don't date solely for money," um, and that's how the conversation sprouted. No, yeah, that's how the conversation sprouted. Um, and then 
uh, our elder sister, she asked me, where's the nicest this place? You've place taken, you've a, taken girl. a girl. And Elijah place. was na- no, made some you know, parts. No, no. And you know why she asked this? It's because you man tried to get onto me and make it seem like- Like you don't spend any money. Like I don't spend any money on girls. So I was like, bro, like I'm a gentleman. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I've taken a girl, this place, this place. You no, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. She was like, fire. yeah. Elijah's like, yeah, I've taken this girl to Bagatelle. I've taken her to this place and that place. Then my sister Alice, she was like, okay, so where have you taken your nieces? <laughs> yeah, I got cuts. I got cuts. You've never taken your nieces. You've never taken your nieces out on a day in, in day in their life since the day they were born. I said, well, okay, well, well, it's true though. Where have you taken? Have you ever taken your nieces to the park? I have taken them to the park. If there's video footage. Did you buy- <laughs> and I bought them ice cream and stuff. <laughs> video footage. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> we can do that. But no, that, you know what? That actually upset me. Cause I have, I have taken, I've got them stuff and I've got them stuff, but I feel like it shouldn't, come on It's not guys. Bagatelle there. Huh? It's not Bagatelle. This title is Bagatelle. Who the heck is a Bagatelle? It's a fancy restaurant. This is uh, a high ranking. Whoever, I've never heard of that one still. That's but so funny. That day was that so funny. That one cooks me still. Yeah, don't, don't. I shot myself on the foot. That's so still. funny. But let's let let's let's get back to the hot topic. I don't want us to. I don't want us to let's divert. Still going on to, tangents. So I, no, they love tangents. The bad boys, the girls love tangents. So we're gonna keep them. I feel like I feel like you should explain. Part of me feels like you should explain to someone, but then part of me also is in a toxic era and I've just been ghosting people. I can't lie. I hear it. I I've hear just it. been ghosting people because it's like. I can't be bothered to explain. You're not my boyfriend. Why am I sitting here explaining to you? Explaining why you didn't work out. It's, it's, you know what it is? It's like, for me, I feel like communication is everything. I'm going to learn that communication, especially with someone else is important. Mm. So if, if. Grown up. There's, <laughs> if there's somebody that you find interesting and they do something that irritates you, if you've communicated and then they, continue it then fair enough but if you haven't communicated it they could be doing it unintentionally do you know what i'm saying with that i feel like that's worth communicating but if it's something crazy and like you've seen them doing the madness or you've heard them doing the madness then by all means ghost them Emmanuel, what are some of the reasons that you've ghosted a woman before um just too needy <laughs> crazy bitchy lazy Bummy, smelly. There's, there's a lot of reasons. It's, it said bummy, smelling, stinking, lazy, abnormal, lazy, Dirty. needy. Like, Elijah, what's some of the reasons that you've been? I don't think I've actually heard goes, uh, or if I have it, I can't remember. Like, generally, it would have been a while ago. So. But this is, I feel like, I feel like you, you and Emmanuel date needy women. Needy in what way? Like, like they want to be on the FaceTime all the time. They want your attention twenty four seven. Um, cause that's definitely the type of girls that Emmanuel gets. No, I think I think I won't say needy. I just say like likes quality time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best. Yeah, I agree with that. Quality yeah. time. Yeah. I think that's the best. And obviously, because I'm busy quite often, I'm not always uh, able physically. So that's the next best thing. You know what I'm saying? Like calls. But Emmanuel does like being on the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can't lie. I'm more of a cool I know. Person. I know you're a cool person. Yeah. If I just not a cool I, person. I hate it. Even, <laughs> even, even when he speaks to me, he's like, like, it, the tonality is, what does what do you want today? Yeah. He's itching to get off. I hate it. it no, but it, it, not itching. No, he loves to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it depends on what means you catch me. Sometimes I'm just like, bro, I want to be by myself. But a lot of the times, I don't mind you just being in the background and doing your thing while I'm on a call, you know? All right, win or bin, surprising your partner at their house slash work. Oh, bin, bin. Why? I couldn't imagine, it depends, but a lot of the time it's a bin. If I'm in my place of work or like I'm at home and I just want to detox and you come and interrupt me, I'm not going to give you a warm welcome. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to give you a warm welcome because this is like my time to unwind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially because like, um, with our jobs is quite frantic and you might not be about, you might be in different areas at the, t- at the time. When I'm home, a lot of the time it's just relaxation time. Mm-hmm. So if I'm relaxing, I don't want anyone to be in my aura. Give me an hour at least from home. And mm-hmm. if you catch me at that time, 
I'll say like hi, like oh my gosh, and then we're in the living room, while I'm in my room, like that on my day. I feel it. I feel like for, I'm gonna say it's been because it's like. Me, yeah, when I'm with someone, I want you to see me sexy in it. I want you to see me on a buff thing. That's and I difficult. Thought... That's difficult. That's difficult. Don't be unfair. Don't be unfair, man. Well, don't be unfair. You think you're saying at home is the only time you're unsexy? Come on. Come on. You phrase that statement. That's unfair. That's wicked. Sorry. Man, I don't understand why you like to salt people when your mouth is dry. You're not allowed. My mouth isn't dry. Your mouth, that's why you just licked it. I didn't lick it. There was a VAR. Did you not? VAR. I done re, this. VAR. You can't insult people when your lips is dry. My lips aren't dry. I don't the, need to lick it anymore. You think I've got the thing in my hand? It's not even, it's guys, not even paid. Farfetch. Can you rewind this episode where you <sighs> see I didn't lick Elijah licking his lips on the top of my before lips? Before he said what he wrist. said. Okay, guys. You're not allowed. Okay, guys. Okay, sorry. Land the plane. When when you know like, you like, like to be you me, like to be looking sexy. Me like what I don't want you to pull up to my house and I've got no wig. <laughs> I've got no wig, and <laughs> I wear my dirty t shirt with this two with this two on the front, and my odd socks. What's your problem? I'm not, why are you waiting for me to say something? I'm waiting for you to land. That's not going to work. So it's a thing where I need to prepare myself. Like before I see my babe, like I want to be looking cute. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, grab the matching two piece, pajamas, you know, make sure everything is nice and organized. Make sure the, the space is looking. <laughs> You're waiting for me to, I'm not saying anything. I hear it. Yeah. Match your two piece. It's hard. Do you know what? Yeah, there's so many inside jokes right now. I could punch you. Me, I... but yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's a bin, mess. Yeah, that's a bin. If I do, what if somebody came in here now and and it's like, oh, I bought you some lunch. No, <laughs> no. You're not feeling it. No, unless she a baddie. No. no, no, no. Because you, listen, even if she's okay, so she has to be a baddie and then she'll come. At the end, you can come at the end. Drive me home or something. Well, like, yeah, I don't mind. If it's like, if I forgot my lunch and she's like, can you bring me lunch? I'll say, yeah, that's calm. But then you got to go after. So, like, <laughs> so you're what? You're expecting her to just grab the lunch and go. What if she wants to spend lunch with you? Impossible. Why not? Because I need to watch YouTube and eat. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's... That's, you know what? Yeah, that's it's, what so, the it's so like the thing is stuff like this is so simple because it's actually fair, yeah, that you want to just watch YouTube and just have your own time. But in a woman's mind, that really shows that to me. I would interpret that as this man hates me. No, nah, no. Nah. Because how can I walk from my house? I came to come and slap butter on bread sandwich, a ham sandwich with lettuce and tomatoes and and mayonnaise. I've come to use my petrol money to come and drive to your to your work place of work to with hand you the license. sandwich with the license that's loaded you ain't got no license either you ain't got no license either I've so got, how I've got a license where in my wallet bring it is it red or is it green green still okay <laughs> that's what I thought nah I feel like nah the man don't come relate like when you're eating and you're watching YouTube you see when you do this this thing with the phone here and you got food nobody chat to me i'm not gonna lie no when you got the phone upright like this and you got to play here or you got your sandwich here until that food is finished you can't that's just this is my no but can you understand that you wouldn't have had that you wouldn't have had that experience if somebody didn't drive from their house i'm talking about like for someone bringing me lunch yeah okay if they brought me lunch and it was far and they want to spend lunch with me, then of course, I'm not going to be a waste man and just send them away. But if Emmanuel will send them away. I can't, I'm sending them away. <laughs> 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 yeah, we have time for that later, baby. Like, it's calm, man. Yeah. But then again, I wouldn't make someone travel from west to east to bring me lunch. That's wicked. No, nope, and that's the most, you know the saddest thing about it? Girls will do that. And they'll be like, no, nah, I just want to, I'm just going to do that because I, it's okay, you're hungry. That's so sad, man. It's so sad. <laughs> It's so, so sad. I have another question for you guys. And obviously, you know, we grew up in like African backgrounds, we grew up in ha- African white households, churches. white garbage churches. What's, so, what's a bush thing that you have taken from your parents' household that you still use today? I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. 
<laughs> I want to know what you're going to say. I freeze everything. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. You see, mom, yeah? It's mom like, freezes mom everything. Mom freezes bread. What's milk. the maddest thing that I've seen mom freeze? Mom freezes milk. <laughs> mom will freeze milk. Mom will freeze bread. My God. Mom will freeze stew. Mom will freeze rice. No, mom but the stew, if it's packed normally, thing, and freezing that, I hear it. It's like a meal prep. But like... Mum will freeze something like straight after cooking. As in... She don't even let it let cool it, down. She don't even let it, but she'll let it cool down and normally you'll put it in the fridge or something. Mum will bang it straight in the freezer. I'm like, brother, I, I wanted to eat it. And I've got to defrost it. And then all the, 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 the freeze moisture is then in... Oh, man. And you know, yeah. You don't, the, the thing is, you don't even know how long that has been in the freezer. Mum can put something in the freezer and throw it out two years later. <laughs> and she'll be like, it's fine, isn't it? Nah. It's still good to eat. It's, and it's still, still good, good to, to eat. eat. It's Bruv. still good to eat. I fr- the, the day that I realized you could freeze bread, my life changed. Because yeah. you see, when you live by yourself, yeah, you have a loaf of bread. You're not always going to eat it. You're not always going to eat everything. And mm. then you know bread gets moldy. Yeah. The day, listen, you can take bread. You can put two in the toaster from the freezer. You can take bread from yeah. the freezer, put it in the toaster, press it, and it's fresh as fresh. And you can ha- you can eat that one you loaf what, of bread. You know bread. what I've learned about mom? I f- sometimes I think mom just does some some crazy things, but there's one she's not the only one, and two it makes sense in hindsight. Like that bread thing, I didn't know that you could freeze bread. The milk thing, I'm still a little bit. Nah, I've been freezing that. milk. I've been freezing. You milk. know why I'm, I'm against freezing milk? It's because when you unfreeze the milk, when you're waiting for it to defrost, it's like the cream will melt first. Yeah. Yeah. The cream of the it milk gets, will first. You have worse. to wait for it to, to yeah. proper. You have to wait for it to proper defrost because the cream, the the, 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 the the thickness will defrost first. first. And if you use that when, when it just defrosts, it gets watery. watery. Yo, <laughs> I'll be there. Fat. But if you use like free frozen milk candy, the first time I put it on cereal, yo, ras bumbo clap, yo. Serious thing. Serious thing. Emmanuel, what's something bush that you're taking from your family's house? I'm not taking it to my house, <laughs> but like my mom, she just like put like, I get the typical garlic, um, whatever remedies to mm. like when you're feeling sick. But she's adding some stuff. She's cooking it as if it's food. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like as if she's making pineapple, a dish. Pineapple, pineapple skin. Yeah. Um, no, what's that lemon? about? Huh? What's that? I about? don't know. You, you, I, I, you boil um ginger, but not even like shave. You boil the whole clove of ginger. Yeah. The back of pineapple, lemon, lime, um, garlic, and some sort of concoction. They said they said on Facebook is to kill COVID. That's just what everybody was on. And then eating um, whole onions as well. That was one. Can yeah. we can we talk about the COVID God, remedies? Gosh. Because I'm sure every African child during COVID, if you looked behind your door, you will see you will see garlic. Whole onions. Whole onions. Bro, mom garlic. To, mom, it was so because mom used to have half onions yeah, and I put it in the cold corner. I said, Mom, what's all this? So I'll be smelling onions in the house. He said, yeah, it will suck the COVID out of the air <laughs> and go into the onions. And then the onions, yeah, will naturally just age and get old and mold. I said, mom, this onion's moldy. moldy. She said, that's the COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the COVID. I said, mom, it's mold. It's mold. <laughs> they need to apologize this um, on Facebook group chats. They'll be mold on the onions. said, that's the COVID. Nah. <laughs> COVID was a mad time for everybody. Mom used to put... She used to she used to put pineapple back. Yeah, the, ba- to, the, the back skin, of the skin yeah. of the pineapple. Then she used to put onion, garlic, ginger, and she used to boil it. And the figure she used to boil it for hours. Yeah, for a time. <laughs> you have to boil it for a time. Like, I'm just going to the down. Words, now that like skin. Yeah. Also, and then you will now go one orange yeah. thing, and then you will now pour it into the into the jar, and I then she'll it. put and she'll fridge Drinking it every morning. Like honestly, yeah. and then. I, in my head, I'm thinking, and at one point, it was like, I would throw the onions away, but the time I go up and come back down, there's a fresh cut. There's a fresh <laughs> onion, yeah. In the, in the corner. Mom used to, and she, um, the thing is, mom just used to just, she just used to throw it. Like, she just used to, she just used to lump it at the don't, back. Don't see that. She put it in the corner. Then, she just, then the, she mom would it. just free it. She would just She'll throw it. She would put it in the corner. <laughs> no. She's, like, she's like, you're going too far. It's, it's all of these, these, these Facebook forums, WhatsApp GCs. Yeah. I feel like everybody's, 
um, African mum is in the same GC. Facts. The same GC. The same GC that's telling that, you know, um, I was, Ill, my nose was clogged up one time. Mum got hot water, yeah, in the bowl and then put um, a bone and she spooned it into the bowl and then put a towel over my head so that I had no choice but to breathe in the vapours of the bone and the hot water. Bruv, it's like, I could see sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know how to describe it. I could smell colours. <laughs> the the whatever that it works I'm not gonna lie it works but why must I it's just, she says sweats all the the virus out of it I said mom this is madness until I saw one of my friends snapping that he's doing it as well I need to know the name of this GC that they're in do you know what you, know, you I used to think mom's remedies I just why mom's remedies I said this doesn't make sense I thought to, they just made it up <laughs> until I until somebody else you talk to someone else and you're like my mom does that too like yeah. we were talking about the soap situation I don't know if anyone's mom does this yeah but my mom like she likes to grate bars of this soap <laughs> no she will grate bars of soap and like different so she'll have Dettol she'll grate it she'll have Dudu and Sue Black Soap she'll grate it and she'll grate it and then she will put perfume and com- combine them together into a new soup into a new soap. Bar of soup so you're grated soaps to create a new soap I can't like I thought that was just us Emmanuel said his mum does the same thing yo that one there listen and then when you're and then every time mum listen you don't have an African mum you have a, you oh wait let me let me rephrase I, that I blame white government you know you have an African mom where your mom comes to visit and she's bringing water, oil, and bar of soap. And incense. And incense. No, forget about the incense. It's always the water and the bar and the and the oil. Hmm. The the water and the oil. It's it's and you know what it is a lot of moms grew up in white garment in Nige and a lot of the remedy, bro. What's what's another white garment thing that I, I, I you know um Oh, uh, you know, like moth, moth killer. Oh, the oh, moth, moth balls. balls. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They eat white balls, yeah, the little, yeah. Moths. And they're supposed to wait away um, even negativity or something. You'll find them in the corner. You'll random places. Random places. Randomly. Random places. Randomly random places. To, to wait away negativity. <laughs> well. yeah. Oh, man. Who I got, man? My mum will throw the moth balls around. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know they were moth balls. I yeah. didn't know what they were. Yeah, I, just, I, didn't, I just, nah, I'll just I'm, I'm, do yeah. random things and finding them. It's even moth balls or insects. Like they weighed away like insects and that, but it's supposed to be weighed away negativity and bad spirits. I said, damn. That's so funny. My gosh. That's so funny. However, you notice that like, anytime someone moves into a new apartment and you might get a new place, mum will do a whole like um, cleanse of the place because obviously, which is fair enough, you don't know who's been there prior. So she'll bring a, um, incense, Bible, uh, the moth balls to put in the corner. I'm sure you're there's candle. a candle. Moth- candle, yeah. That's it. it what wa- candle? I'm you- not gonna lie. It probably works. I don't know what I don't know what life would be like without all of that. To be honest, do you know what's magic? I can always tell mm. going into someone's house if they go to white garment. Yeah, there's a certain energy of a white garment house. It's very peaceful. Thank you. You know, you know who I went into. I went into their house one time. Gabzi. Mm. I walked into his house one time. Gabsy's house had the energy. I said, Gabsy, did you go? Does your mom go to White Garment? He said, Yes. I said, I can tell. Yeah, White because Kurt. it was so tranquil and just that's the word calm, peaceful. The presence of God is there dwelling. Mm. I said, Nah, I know you go to White Garment because mm. I can feel it. Mm. And I'm very sensitive to energies and stuff. Mm. But that whole that White Garment spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. anyways, what that one is doing at Gabsy's house. No, no, no. It was after uh, his concert. He had a concert and he brought, and all of us, for, shut up. I'll lock up his whole studio shut right the- now. <laughs> we'll go to shut the- house. Shut up. But yeah, also another thing, you guys haven't said about what you're, what you're taking, what, what's the Bush thing that you're taking from your parents? I don't know what I would take. Definitely, definitely like in terms of like the, the prayer and stuff, yeah. I'll definitely take it from um, when I get my own place. And uh, the incense is necessary now and again. Not the incense stick. You guys don't know yeah, about the that. The stick is a drag, man. No, the incense stick is a. I'm talking about you'll get the tura, Turari and the, uh, <laughs> the, the. The thing that they swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they'll put, they'll get a bucket of incense, put the charcoal there, spark it, put it in the. I don't in, know what you call the it. The case to. Yeah, the case to. And then sprinkle the, the, the incense, incense so on it. So it can melt on top. You do that one to heat the charcoal up. Okay, guys. Are we, are we using 
are we using normal dustpan and brush? Are we using the ballet? I'm just using the ballet. Yeah. I'm using the broom. I can't lie, it works. There's something about it that There's makes it efficient. There's something about the ballet. Yeah. Dustpan and brush doesn't get the corners. It doesn't get the corners. Like the ballet does. Are you mad? You, a ballet can never be beaten. For people that don't know what Ibala is, it's like this thing, it's this says, it's, it's, it's got sticks. sticks yeah. It's like a broom, but it's they've tied loads of sticks together mm. and we use it to sweep. Mm. That, thing, that, 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 that thing can sweep your fins. The only thing is- That thing is, can sweep your fins. Is, 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 is literally, that thing is a workout. It's yeah. just very, very exhausting to, because you have to be bending down and like this. <laughs> Yeah, you have to you have to squat. You have yeah, to squat. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to be literally you have to be literally like on yeah. the ground. The long the long broom is, is convenient because it's easier to use. But if you use the ballet, you know that it's gonna be a serious clean that you're doing. No, but a ballet is good for carpet though. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. ballet and carpet, there's no Dyson. Yeah, yeah. There's no Dyson in this world that can beat the ballet. Yeah. I've swept with the ballet versus Dyson. Ibale will sweep. Ibale <laughs> can pick up that dust that's been in the, depth, is. in the depth of the carpet. That Ibale will carry it, will bring it to the surface. Yeah, I'm taking that with me as well. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I actually need to do buy it, Ibale. I need to buy it. Yeah, but it, that's one thing I've noticed as well. Like When I'm not with mum, certain stuff that I just find they're peering, I actually have to go out and get as well. Yeah. And I'm finding it like more difficult to find these sort of... Certain, like Ibale is one... Um, just bear like different, like, you know, you know what I'm um, coin coin, the sponge. I'm taking that with me as well. The coin coin? Yeah. The, it's like the hard one. <laughs> the yeah, wood one. It's, it's like, it's almost like, um, it's like shavings of wood, but it's just soft wood. Oh, to yeah, scrub your yeah, skin. yeah. You see that one? Yeah, it's different. I'm it's taking that tier. with me. It's top tier. That one will scrub your skin and you'll have your skin sparkling. But to find it is another story. I'm taking that one with me as well. Coin coin. <laughs> are you are, are you guys still bucket buffing? Yeah, if I haven't got a shower, yeah. Yeah. If yeah. I knew you're still bucket buffing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. I'm not gonna lie. I would like to bring bucket buffing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, bucket buffing. It's actually bucket buffing is the thing. I can't lie. And you know when the water is nearly finished, yeah. <laughs> you have that. Yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes, sometimes I refill it just to the lower level, just so I can do it again. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> so that, I can feel the heat. That final, yeah, that final yeah. boss. The final splash. Do you know what I? I um have showers, but there's certain times where I still do bucket, bucket bath, bath yeah, even yeah. though I have a shower. Mm. Like if I need to, if I need to do a prayer bath because mom has brought some water for me to go and pour inside. Mm. She will go and stay, go and pour this thing inside and go and back with it and stuff like mm. that. I still use it. Me, you know what, Miss Paris, Miss Paris, I'm taking But I don't know, I, honestly guys, I don't know who needs to hear this, but just at least change your bucket. That's a very good point. There's some of you that you've had the same bucket. For <laughs> and the outside of the bucket, the is outside dead, of the bucket is dead. black. <laughs> You are, the outside of your bucket is black because you've used it for the past seven years. That's a very good point. The, the bucket even had a pattern on it before. Now the pack, but it's looking one shade. One shade. <laughs> That's actually a good point. Then now the, 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 the no, even... it's not the bucket they need to change. It's the bit to throw the bucket on you that needs to be changed. The scoop. The scoop. Yeah. The yeah. Scoop. You that to... one there. So yeah, some Come of your some of your you scoopers use, are tired. Some people use the same scoop that they use for the bucket bath to then go and wash their bums. Facts in the toilet. Facts. Like, oh my god, like. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not dragging front. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, no. Mute her name. Mute her name. You got to beat that. Beep her name. Beep her name. Beep her name. Beep her name. I didn't mean to draw. I didn't mean to draw her out. I didn't mean to draw her out. I didn't mean to draw her out. Dang it. No, do you know what I'm also bringing? Do you know what I'm bringing? It's not bush yet, but I'm Yinka Yifale. I need, we need to have a serious conversation about that guy. You know, it only hit me that guys like him are making 20 minutes of just one song that, and that, in that song is just banger after banger. No artist is doing that. Ever. No artist is doing that. Nika Yefele is making a song with bare songs in the song or half of hour non-stop, just Fuji of bangers. Nika Yefele, I don't know do you know what's bad? I never took in Yinka Yifle when I was younger. We used to go to church and obviously because we lived outside of London, we'd drive into London and it'd be like 
a two hour journey. Yeah. And my mom would have every Yinkai Yifale CD. Yeah. And it just used to exhaust me growing up. But if I had Yinkai Yifale now, yeah. oh yeah, Tata I'm like, one. What what other songs did he have? Um oh my gosh, he had um No, he had bangers. You can't even had bangers. Now what other song? Um That was to you. Those are songs that you'll just sing in from the church, from the church but He'll have just a bad look in it. Yo. He would do the remix of the song. Yo. Nah, I, I can't even. Where's my phone? I've got it. Wait. I've got it saved. Wait, let me see because, sorry. You can't, you play. He needs his flowers. I hope he's, wherever he is, I hope he's doing great. I hope wait, he is doing great. I need to, great. wait, hold on. And then he'll start off with a bing, bing, bing. What's the next way? I got ready. I got Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Elijah! Nah, you've unlocked a memory. You've unlocked a memory. Doti. Oh, do remi. This one is Beruma Bajioba. Yoba. Let's see what the next song is on here. Yo, what's the next song? In your way. You know when you've heard you know when you've heard a song for so long, yeah. I've never s- sung the song from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah. But not I gonna know lie, the song from I beginning know to the yeah. song from beginning to end. Cause mom used to spin that. And sh- you know that's only one tr- this one track here is 20 minutes long. I we'll probably you'll know have, the 20 minutes. Yeah, you will have bare different ta- tracks. I'm seeing all the tracks here. I'm sure I know the beginning. There's even one song. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Nah, you can't you play that f- guy. Play. I hope you're all right wherever you are. Nah, man. same, Big same. Man, you need to drop a new track, please. Period. Please, brother. Question of the week. So let's move on to question of the week. The internet has been talking and people have been asking, how long do you wait to go public with your partner? Couple people said 24 hours. Couple people said, if you're smart, never. Couple people said, last time I did that, all my friends backdoored me. People have different opinions. Obviously, Uncle Eli's here. Emmanuel's on the mic. 
can I just say, Emmanuel, I've missed, I've missed talking to you. I've missed the... talking to you too. Oh, this is romance. I love it. I love it. I love no, it. No, it's not store. It's not store. It's not store. It's not store. <laughs> it's not store. It's a very, very work friendly conversation. Okay. <laughs> So talk to me. How long do you wait to go public with your partner? Is it me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it depends. Uh, I don't think it's like when you say public, does this mean like when you're you've announced it or? I don't think guys really announce. I don't see you yeah, announcing. Like, but public as in like, you don't feel weird snapping with her or. Snapping her hand or snapping her handbag. I don't think I'll ever not feel weird about that. I'm gonna be honest. Not gonna be married. I don't know, Elijah. I have a couple pictures of you and a certain white woman. Oh my god, that. stop <laughs> doing this. This is about three years ago. We're talking. Guys, there's a picture here. Oh my just, life, we're not my... doing this. Oh my life, we're not doing this. Oh my life, we're not doing this. Elijah, Everything I love we're not doing this. Face because face if, masks. You wanna you wanna look if Jason, I've told you, if you wanna go there, we can go there. But <laughs> <laughs> Tia, producer, that image is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. We've, we we just shut your mind. We just started this this um conversation of the week. We didn't even let me land the con the conversation. No, but you what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that you're saying something that from past. Why do you even have that? Because man's got it. You're a creep. No, I'm not gonna lie, because she was proper sprung on you. She put it on oh, her highlights. Get and the stuff. heck out of here, man. She, it was on her highlights. It was on her. Do you know? Yeah, sorry, just... sorry. I don't think you, I, I am such a head ass girl in it. Like I'm a romantic girl, but there will never be a time where I have a highlight section special for special with my boyfriend. No, no, no. no. And I, I never saw those pictures. Yeah. I've never seen those pictures before. And I said, Elijah's here doing face masks yeah, 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 yeah. and holding teddy bear. What I said, said that's, that's crazy. Time. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, move past that, store. That's crazy, dog. Move past that. I'm a stone cold killer now. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you going public like what when do you feel like it's the right time to be like oh. for me personally i feel like when I, I i know that it's like let's say i want to get married i i you know what's mad i'm so in my own like self i don't think i'm the sort of person to announce it like that like obviously yeah like maybe maybe marriage on the wedding day you might get a snap might yeah you might get a snap on the wedding day but other than that i don't think like obviously we're not saying like black like, blast her but like you know when you start feeling comfortable to post on her birthday and maybe like yeah like you in my dates night if, if, I, if i've got a girlfriend you will know that i've got one but i don't need to post it do you get what i'm saying yeah do you feel like obviously now that you're now that you're like trying to be somebody and stuff we're like you 30, man. Big man team. You're old, bro. You're old. You're old, bro. You're old too. You're old. You're old you're, too. No, but I'm old as a joke. You're actually pushing 30, bro. Like, you're gen... You, like, <laughs> this is... You're old with no joke. You're generally old. Can't be making no jokes. Um, I don't I don't believe in ageist jokes. Me, and I find I mean, it very I, offended to the, to the over 30 guys. See the way Tia's looking at you. You're old you? Damn! <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. My fault. I'm sorry, man. My fault. That's why you guys get along to a wheel. <laughs> Away, peace. <laughs> why are you laughing? You're supposed to be doing your prenup soon. What was it? The the age um pension. The dying work pay pension. <laughs> the mixologist, how old are you? Boom book clack. Dang. It's so mad being the youngest in the room. Oh, Sorry, man. Land the, land the point. <laughs> ah. Sorry. You put a 25 plus party soon? Is that what you guys are on? <laughs> you got to know in America. Like a flipping old. <laughs> See the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why do you want to get slapped up so bad? <laughs> why do you want to get Sorry, why man. do you want to get slapped up so bad? Sorry, I need to show my orders. See ya. Is this how <laughs> I really? It's mixologist, he put he gave me a adult shot in the in the glass. This you is, a, this a, is a 30 plus mixer. He's <laughs> <laughs> not my age. That's why he's giving me a headache. <laughs> Dang. Sorry, man. Goodness gracious. 
<laughs> wow. Is, sorry, guys. Sorry. This is what the young boys are doing for us. The young kids. Sorry, the kids man. of our generation. Oh. Anyways. Don't worry. I'll get you back. I'm loading my clip. Don't think too hard, man. Remember you're old. You need to get, what's it called? Dementia. <laughs> you're at that age now. <laughs> Keep Come. going, keep going. Don't worry. I've a I've a load back clip. I've a load back clip. <laughs> Anyways, Emmanuel. Um, I would say <laughs> I'll never announce until she does it first. One, okay. until she shows me first. And two, it just it just depends how much she wants it. If she's dying for me to show her, she, so <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. I'll post a little snap or whatever, okay. but more time i'm not gonna do it naturally it's just not me so it's not it's true you don't you don't even post yeah. pictures yeah, of i yourself. don't even post myself so for me to post her is like i'm doing too much i hear it so you will so if you feel like she's pressured you to do it you will just do it yeah but it's not in your nature to to like post the picture of a babe yeah, you've nah. never posted a picture online nah. of a babe no nah. do you know what yeah i feel like I don't know, it might be more of a girl's thing, but I feel like you're in the public eye. You're in the public eye. Me? Yeah. I ain't no public eye. No, it's people know about you, you know. But they don't know about me. I mean, like, people know you. Oh, okay. People know you. They don't know you hard, but they know you. So I feel like sometimes when someone's in the public eye, you kind of want that reassurance that you're not being hidden. I hear that. So it's like Elijah, now that like you're, you know, it's okay, like, okay. yeah, now that you're, you know, managing yourself, it's like. I, I hear that. I hear that argument. I hear it. But I feel like if anything, because I'm slowly becoming in the public eye, it's more like I'm more protective. Of no, you're definitely a public eye. I, I'm more, I'm more protective of, of what is important to, to you yeah, yeah 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 facts so it's like i know people like if people that there's evil eye out there mm -hmm. so it's like people want to destroy what they can't have do you know what i'm saying so regardless yeah. even relationships aside like friendships or stuff with family like i'll always keep to myself because that's a part of me i don't want to lose to this facade do you mm -hmm, know what i'm saying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i think that's that's the kind of angle that i'm can on. i just say something yeah listen the day that I have a boyfriend, you lot are going to be sick of me. Oh, you're one of those girls? You're going to be sick of me. I thought you said you were never going to show them. No, but I did say I'm going to show a hand, shoe, oh, back. Yeah. You'll see his back. You'll see his wrist. You'll see his neck. His you'll see his shoe. You'll see his shoulder. You will know everybody part. You're going to be sick of me. But you know what is with that, yeah? I'm, I'm quite negative in the sense that, like, I, I appreciate that, but you know, like sometimes when it's over and like they break up or something, it's like, yes, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like all this showing, oh, my world, my future, my man, my girl, my world, my oyster, my thing, my wrist, your personal, 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 never gonna leave you, never gonna cheat you, it's not finished. Where are you at? That's why for me, not only is it like for me, like um, protection, but it's also protection from embarrassment. I don't want to push you and then get a push, push you on all my social media pages, make you my lock screen, my screensaver, my world, and then you gone and then cheated on me. Oh, bro, I'm going to look like a buffoon and people are going to laugh at me. I'm saving myself from embarrassment. I'll be you honest. see, I used to think like that because it's like, it's a very, it is a bit embarrassing <sighs> where you post somebody and then you break up and then now you're archive photos archive photos I feel it but at the same time I feel like I don't want to be scared to love somebody in the way that I would love them which is very over and extra and dramatic and I feel like even if that love wasn't to work out I feel like there's always opportunity to discover new love and to be honest do the same thing again that's why sometimes I'll be looking at girls on the internet and it's like girl this is your fifth boyfriend that you've been posting shamelessly but I've kind of of it a little bit that's great for maturity what you just said but you see me i'm flipping immature bro i'm not going down that route that's why i'm I'd confused when you're saying older women like you because it doesn't make sense no to me. certain come on come on come on come on let's be honest come on come on, come on. bro I, I hear that angle but yeah that angle is not something i'm rocking with to be honest <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we are back and we are back with our favorite game. Obviously, Elijah, you've played this one before. You know, it's Are You Smart? Yes, sir. I can't remember what, how you did last time. I've done great. I don't remember it being that great. No, no, I've done a great job still. Do you know what? I can neither confirm or deny because I don't know. But we do have a new twist to the game. So we have six questions. Yeah. You can only give me one answer. You can't tell me Bobby, Susie, Adam, Becky, Jonathan, Majors, Jesus. You can only give me one answer and lock it in. Mm -hmm. If you get the question right, I have to take the shot that could be naughty or nice. If you get it wrong, you have to take the shot. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Question number one. I'm it's ready. a riddle. Riddle, oh, riddle. Oh, God. Riddle, riddle. What can be opened and closed, but no human has ever passed through it? What can be opened or closed? Opened and closed. Opened and closed. But no human has ever passed through it. A question. We can get an open question or a closed question. Are you locking that in? What can be open or closed and a human can't pass through it? Yeah. Has... Has... But... <laughs> yeah, a question. Are you locking that in? Yeah. We are locking in a question. A question. That is incorrect. The what? answer is a mouth. Oh, get up. A human hasn't passed through it. I can't lie to y'all. That's, what the heck? People eat humans. Wait, what? That's where you went with that? Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, that's nonsense. That, you don't know what oral says? Question is the perfect answer. It's true, you know. Wait, you does it pass, come? No, because you don't pass. Passing through is coming through. A human cannot pass through. If you're going to pass through something, you go through it. If you're given head, you don't pass through. No, what head do you give? <laughs> <laughs> Bruv, a question is a better answer than a mouth. Guys in the comments, is a question not a better answer than a mouth? I'm just gonna go with what Tia said. Oh, this is this is this is is it his grace? Is it his grace? Is it his grace? So now I have to drink drunks because of 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 some ah. Cool. You have to take the first shot. Where which way's the first shot, Tia? The furthest from you. Furthest right. Yeah. Further. Furthest right. This one. No. no. This one? Yeah. Yes. Take the shot. What the hell? Take the shot. Take the shot. Take Why is the it warm? shot. Take the 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 shot. Oh, take the shot. Okay, that's not take terrible. Take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> It just instant hot chocolate and water. What have we got today, Tia? It was Turkish delight hot chocolate with water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're still, we started warm up. Nice warm up. Nice warm up. Nice warm up. Oosh. Obviously, you got your caps done in it. Yeah, man. I, I was supposed to put the full grill in, but <sighs> it's been a hectic morning. So, your you when you got your caps done, you know, you had to do that thing with your. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to open your mouth wide mm -hmm. and put the mold. The mold. So, I'm guessing that this question, you know the answer to for the next one. Where are we going with this? What's the question? Question number two is: How many teeth does an adult human have? Ah, oh, this one the color doing. It's gonna be a difficult one for you because it says adults. Adults human. Well, like 32. Um, well, 32. It's gonna be even. Are and you? a couple of them slipped because like there's not like gaps there. Yeah, like 30. 
Wait. Ah, can we do nearest to you? The round down. What is the answer? 30, 32, 32. Yeah, Are you locking in 32? 32, yeah, 32. 30. <laughs> no, 32, 32, 32. We it's are not... locking in 32. Damn. It's not 32. That is correct. Yeah! How did, Emmanuel, you gave me the answer. No, no I, I saw can't... you. No, You're 32, no, bro. Ah, ah. Did you actually get that from counting your teeth? Yeah, there was a bit, there was, there was one or two that I missed and I just kind of, you know, went for the nearest one because it wasn't going to be an odd number. So does everyone have 32 teeth? Yeah, generally. Yeah, I guess Unless so. you get them taken out, obviously. So why did that. you let him count? <laughs> wait, wait. Not Excuse everyone me. would do that. My <laughs> methods aren't irrational. It definitely wasn't. It was very, yeah. it was very was stupid. <laughs> when you get, you're asking your test and you need to use your fingers. Use your fingers now. When they say no calculator. They don't, they don't calculate it involved. I just use my common sense. What the hell? Not you counting the <laughs> <laughs> No. 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 In the middle, Jason. No, no. No. That one. What the heck? This is looking like a ginger and turmeric. Your ass oh. clap. This looks like that chicken gravy sh- Hmm. We like to drink with Jason. Cause Jason is on me. <laughs> and where we drink it. She drinks it down in eight, seven, six, five, four. Then it gets one, three, two, eight below. He's Hmm. Wow. That was not that bad, but it was bad at the same time. What was it? Instant miso, baby. What's miso? Miso soup. Miso soup. Yeah, but like, what does that consist of? Is miso a thing? It's, yeah, it's like um seaweed and... Question number three. 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 And I want to make this interesting. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. That has two answers. Okay. If you get the first answer, I have to take the shot. But the bonus answer. I'll give you twenty pound. Yes, actually, hey, what twenty pound, bro? Increase it, bro. <laughs> the stock's gone up. <laughs> if you get it wrong, you have to give me twenty pound. Barry, car. Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah, come, come, come. But so, I wanna, I'm gonna show you the car statement after. The first That's question calm. is: so the question is, in what country is the tallest? mountain in africa located oh my god and the 20 pound answer is what is the mountain okay cool so the mountain is kilimanjaro okay so just give me that 20 pounds immediately the country what the hell oh, damn it's gonna be like like yeah Kilima- kilimanjaro is in is in africa yeah, I know there's a big ass mountain in 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 like Asia, like but like like um India, one of them ones. There, yeah, I know there's a big mountain there, but Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is in Africa now. That's 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 an African name. Kilimanjaro. Yeah, that's 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 an African name. Where's Kilimanjaro in though? It's giving like it's giving like not Kenya, like one of them, like one of those. It's not gonna be in. Nigeria or West Africa. It's not gonna be West Africa. There's gonna be a big mountain in, in Nigeria. People will climb it. They will not climb it. Kilimanjaro is in What's next to Kenya? Like Kenya, it's not Sudan. I'm gonna say like like Kenya. Kenya's giving like cause they these guys run. So Kilimanjaro is like something they will train up. You know what I'm saying? That's my logic behind it. So my answer. Ha ha! My answer is Mount Kilimanjaro. That's the bonus answer. That's twenty. That's the twenty pounds one. And my answer is Kenya. Oh. Okay, we're locking in Kenya and Kilimanjaro. Oh, Father God. Wait, no Kilimanjaro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's another country that's near Kenya that's like. 
I'm thinking it's that one. But I'm going to go with it? Kenya. I don't know what the country next to Kenya is. I don't know my geography like that. Right. That is incorrect. You got one incorrect, but you don't get the 20 part because you had to get the first oh, one. Oh, right? I knew it. So the answer is Tanzania. I knew it was one of them ones there. One of them ones there. Flip. Oh, no. She's Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah, I'm surprised Tanzania. your girlfriend, Uncle Waffles. Oh, goodness gracious. She came to England. I didn't even know. Well, was she supposed to call you and tell you? Yeah. She ain't, she don't know you. She, Uncle Waffles know me, knows me. How? She comes in under my post. And she, like, she knows me. Like, we've, I've taken her out before. No, you haven't. Okay, bro. You see, the social media is a facade. Just give people believe what you want. I'm telling you, me and Uncle Take Waffles. Take the shot, I beg. What's the Wait, why do I have to take the shot? Because I've got it wrong. 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 Yeah. Oh, damn it. Kilimanjaro. 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 Why are you looking. Are you going to give me powers? Kilimanjaro. Hey. Kilimanjaro. That was bad, you. <laughs> what the heck is that? That is mango with grenadine syrup. Wow. That's sweet, though. I'm so annoyed that I got that wrong. Question number four. Shut up. Question number no, four. Multiple choice. Okay. How many countries are there in Asia? A, 51. B, 48. C, 53. Okay. So, based on my logic, I'm not going to go over odd number because odd numbers, they're not good. So, it's going to be an even number. I was talking Asia. It was like the whole continent, right? So, okay. Off the top of my head, if you were to ask me, I could name at least like 30, yeah? Girl, not you, mother. Yeah, yeah off the top of my head, I can name 30. Don't ask me to see, though. Um, so, by that logic, what did you say? 48 and 52? 51. 48, 53. Oh, so it's 48 then. Because we don't like odd numbers. Just give me a correct. It's 48. Just give me the answer. The next shot is there, by the way. I'm locking it in. We are locking in 48. 48, bro. 48, bro. It's 48, bro. Stop looking at me like that's 48, bro. It's not going to be an odd number. It's 48. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna be an odd number. Just drink the thing. You gotta try to stitch me up. That logic is very <sighs> stupid, but it works in your favor. Ah, it's not gonna be an odd number. That one. Yeah. Duh, yeah. oh, that's looking. <laughs> looking like Charlie's Peak. <laughs> Why are you gonna say that? It actually does look like Charlie's vomit. <laughs> Dang. I know. You might should, one day you should get I bought Jenny Jenny as one of the shots for one of the guests. <gasps> I swear down. I think mum bought a re up when she came nah, to Nigeria. We couldn't give Abu Jenny to the guests. Absolutely. We couldn't give Abu Jenny could. to the guests. Definitely. We, that this would, is they will sue us. They would sue us if we gave Abu Jenny. This is a contract. They, they can tell you anything they don't want to drink or eat. If they don't put Abu Jenny to Jenny on one of them, that's no one's fault. Let's run it up. Cheers to the freaking weekend. Drink to that. Oh, that last one gave me a headache. Hmm. What the heck was that? Coffee and gravy. Coffee and gravy, dang. That was disgusting! <laughs> that was disgusting. I can smell that! <laughs> Ew! Scream or speak in this direction. Have some sympathy for my nose. Disgusting. <sighs> what are we on? Question number four. Mm-hmm. Five. 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 Question number five. Yes, ma'am. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Which Devido song has the highest views on YouTube? Uh, it's, it's either on YouTube. Yes. Uh, there's one song that buses up, that busts on views. No, did he? It was either 
unavailable. It was from this timeless album. Oh, my head. What's that song that goes? That one went off. But I don't think they dropped a video for that. Did they even drop a video for Unavailable? No! It's if. If I tell you, say I love you, oh, boom, boom, I mean, it's on your horn, oh, baby. <laughs> Ready? What are you at? Yeah. Vasashi Aguchi. Yeah, that's David. Yeah, that's my boy. It's if. Are you locking in if? Yeah. It's if. Boom, boom. Hey. That's your guy. Wait. How do you believe? Yeah. He doesn't say 30 billion for any other song. That means there's money in that song. We are locking in if. Guy, I'm Kutufu. No, I am a one in Kutu. Say him, Kutu too. That is incorrect. What? The answer is fall. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Fire! Fire! Scoo do do. That's not. That's not the right song. It is. It starts. No, the... Fire! Fire! No, it doesn't. No. Boom! Boom! No. Money yeah! Fall on yeah! You. It does, but the, the, that's what I'm saying. These new beats, they know everything. Dara fall for you. Cause I'm in love with oh. you. If I offend you, if you I offend you, be cold, Nari can take you, take combo. Nari can take you, take combo. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, baby. I'm in to make a break, combo. But it's to make a break, combo. Uh, that's uh, a billion for the account. No, it's not the right lyrics. Hey, what on the your body? Are you a are you a bro, that song? Are you a there, verbal DJ? That's why are you mixing the song? Is, how is it feel better than 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 if? That's baloney. Because you know that was the wedding song. You know when the wedding songs is busted. I don't want to be a player no more. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I don't want to be a player oh, no that's, more. That's Cause my friend call me Cristiano. No, no, yeah, yeah, first, first. Cristiano Ronaldo. I want Nintendo. Yeah. Cause my friend call me Cristiano. Mister Ronaldo. I want Nintendo. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. That's a slap in, slap. Anyway, take a shot. That's sad, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's sad. Take the bomb, oh, clad. It looks like a shot to me. Oh, Listen, let's, let's see Latif needs to stop bringing. Sh- Cheap us, tequila. What around. the hell? That that Listen, is- we have budgets. Stop bringing the bright dead. Sh- I'm not gonna lie. This tastes like cleaner. It smells like cleaner. It smells like. Oh. What the hell? Is I think that? I know what it is. What the hell is that? I know what it is. It's not even a shot, which is so sad. <laughs> no, that just tastes just like I'm gonna die. <laughs> you will not die in Jesus' name. What the hell is that? Did you just <laughs> what is my bucket and pour in the food? What is it? Yeah. It's rose water. Rose water. What the hell? Rose water. That just oh, you clean your dad junks. <laughs> Do people drink that? They flavor food with it. No, I want to flavor my intestines. <laughs> nah, that's I can't believe that. Soz, mate. I can't even believe. <sighs> Next and final <laughs> answer question. What do you want? Do you want a riddle or guess the song? Do you guess the song? Guess the song. If I do a riddle and I get another answer that's not the answer, I'm going to use my marbles. <laughs> guess the song. We've got some lyrics from a song. And you have to tell me what the song is. The first line of the song is can't help but see the traces of you. The next one is that I get in my feelings this way. And the third line is where have you been? Wait, could you just say that all in one piece? Are they all are the lines one after the other? No, they're all separate. <laughs> the so why would you do that then? Can't help but see the traces of you. 
next line is that i get in my feelings this way and the next one is where have you been okay yeah. i know that song is not by jme for starters thank you that that i can't what's that thing i can't help what you feel being in this way yeah that i get in my feelings this way can't find this feeling inside my bones I can't tell us can stop feeling in this way. No, that's not that one. What's the first lyric? Can't help but see the traces of you. Can't help but feel the traces of you. It's can I do, do I have to say the song? Mm-hmm. Uh can find it's no air by Chris Brown and what's that girl's name? The other girl. No air, air. Can't stop this feeling. No, was it? Was that Nick? Can't help but see the traces of you. I can't help but feel the traces in you. Tell me how I'm supposed to be with no air. Is it ain't even if you ain't there. No air, no air. That's the girl's verse there, bro. No air. With Chris Brown and. What's the girl's name? It's the Gina. The last skin girl. Jennifer. Georgia. No air by Chris Brown and the girl. That's no air, bro. And then the men of the so deep. Was I lost lyric? That's no air, bro. We are locking in no air by Chris Brown and J Lo. <laughs> it's not. I don't think it's actually J Lo. When I the side of road. That's that song, bro. Give me the answer. That is incorrect. The answer is money long made for me. (laughs) Who the heck is that? By who? Money long. You guys are taking a piss. Do you know who money long is? Yes. You're no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Where have you been? Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody gon' love me quite like you. Can't even deny it every time I try it. Nah, nah, that's not. Like can you, body to body. Can we get skin to skin? Skin to skin, though. Nobody gon' love me quite like this. That's made for me. You were made for me. No, no, yeah! No, no, no. Made for me. Tell me how I'm supposed to be with no. I'm no. a This is ridiculous. I'm being stuff. Take the shot. This is not even a shot. That looks like Rabina. That looks like the blood of Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> that rose water still in my mouth. Is that communion wine? <laughs> it's cherry juice, tart cherry juice. It's not that bad. Tart, so it's spoiled. No, it's just sour. Sweet but sour. Ha! Oh. It's healthy though. It's sour. Oh, Elijah, you tried your best. Don't worry, I'm gonna- I don't get any. Got two. I know, I got two. You got two chicken and No, two. technically I got three. Cause that first one, the mouth and the entering one. I'm I don't know, two are bad recently. I don't know. Two are. Gonna come I'm going to let the comments deal yeah. with you. But that is the end of the episode. Elijah, happy mother siblings. Happy bon siblings day, day. Man. It's always nice to see that you're doing well in life and you're... Someone actually made a good point that I've, they, people on the show like seen me grow up in that. I feel like they have, you know. Cute, I don't feel like you were doing content when you first started. I think I was just starting. Yeah. Yeah, and we've definitely seen you grow before, as a plus size model. As you're now doing like content, you've got your little content gang and stuff, and I'm very proud of you, man. No, no, but honestly, on a on a real thing, on a real thing out of the shade, I'm actually so proud of you. Like I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of like people come to me to say how well you're doing. Like girls. Can we just let's just talk about this? There should be no, under no circumstances where girls are coming to me telling me, oh, your brother's paying. Stop this. Sit down! They, people come up to me and this makes me sick. One girl in the bathroom one time, she was like, oh my God, your brother's so cute. Like, tell him to, like, can you can you try and link us together? I'm just like, 
I get that like, as well though. Not, but not from your thing. It's like there'll be a good looking girl. Obviously, I think she's trying to chat to me. And she'd be like, "Oh my gosh, tell your sister I love her." <laughs> no, but you they think... could be doing that to try and chat to open the conversation. Nah, because well, I'm gonna get a conversation. I'm gonna say thanks. I appreciate it. That I've done. In... What? You're gonna use my sister as a way to twang? Hell no. That's that's a red flag. Yeah, seriously, can we stop this? Please stop telling me that my brother's fine because I'm just no, not no, 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 please stop telling no, me that no, no, my brother's tell fine. Tell it tell makes me uncomfortable, it makes me sick. <laughs> How do you respond? I said, I'll say, okay, I'll say, Frank, okay. <laughs> what else is there to say except okay? Yeah, you should record it. This girl here said that I'm you're like, fine. I was like, okay, ill. Are they fine though? The ones that come out, yeah, they actually are, you know, they're actually pretty girls. There's one girl that I thought, oh, you're actually pretty, but it's like, I still don't know why you're telling me this. <laughs> But I oh. am honestly, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, and everybody's rooting for you. And obviously you're a superstar. You know that already. Thank and you, man. minus the BO, I feel like. What would you say? I said minus your BO. I feel like you're just, you're, you're going to go far. You're going to go far. Actually, what person I'm using right now? Look off this whole thing. Fam. But yeah, I appreciate it. And you too, man. Obviously, I'm proud of you. Being proud of you. Um, I don't like telling you because I feel like you're, you're already big headed. But you should know that. The man that I'm proud of what you're doing, innit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Where man. do we find you on the Bumba Clark internet for them? Uh, Uncle Eli on Instagram, TikTok, Snap, YouTube is still loading. NMW for the YouTube. It's one. been loading since. Yeah, and it's planning. Guys, I'm out here on my ones, man. It's difficult. So, um, any, yeah, your people's your favorite uncle, Uncle Eli. You're outside with CNT. It's been your host, Madam Joyce. It's been your guest, Uncle Eli. We're going to be back next week with another bad boy or bad girl. And thank you for tuning in. Laga. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>